Hello there, Rockstar. So today I wanted to do a quick little demo tutorial, and this is um, a reaction to a comment I I came across on a tweet by a user called Victor. So Victor is an app learner. He is a student in the applearn.io platform of which I recently became an instructor. If you want to, the full gist on that, you should subscribe to my newsletter because I'll be sending out an issue with all the backstories to how I became an applearn.io instructor. So you could go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. So Victor wanted to know how he can use JavaScript to add scroll animations on the page. So according to him, he knows HTML and CSS, but when it comes to doing things with JavaScript, it just gets a little bit thrown off or overwhelmed. So I wanted to ease that for Victor by just doing this video. And instead of just showing him directly, I decided that, okay, let's create more value and let's see if anyone else out there have the similar issues so they could learn a thing or two. So let's just dive into what I've got here. So I made a little code pen, title scroll triggered animation with basic JavaScript. So nothing fancy. So let's just go a little bit into how I set up the project. So I'm just gonna for the time. So just basic HTML here, just setting up the layout. So it's a fictitious app plan web homepage. Of course, the app plan homepage is way more beautiful than this, but I just wanted something simple to just drive on the point. I did a little bit of styling with Tailwind CSS. And if you don't know Tailwind CSS, you should um, keep an eye out on appland.io website because I'll be releasing a brand new Tailwind CSS course for beginners. So if you have no idea for, on Tailwind CSS or you find CSS to be hard, styling to be hard, I'm going to show you how you can use Tailwind to create custom design pretty quickly. So that aside, so we have this, so don't worry about the styling. So this is just the, the website. So what we want to do is that when you scroll up to the point of courses, each courses will be animated into view. All right. So right now we do have courses, right? We do. So you could see the div, the class of course. So that's a course, but they are all hidden as you can see in this, in the CSS declaration. So we have the course, the opacity zero, that means it's not going to be visible, right? Transition. I said to one second, so the transition should be, um, a little bit more per, um, easy for you to notice. Then I said translate X to 100 pixels so they get to slide in from the right. So yeah, and we are showing the cards or the courses using a dot show class. We are going to add a dot, a dot show class that is going to send your opacity to one and transform to like, so the translation is going to be zero pixels. All right, so let's see the magic to JavaScript. So what we're going to be utilizing is a an API a web API called the Intersection Observer API. So what that means is lets you to call a callback when particular elements you're observing are in view. All right, so it's just a nice little modern way of doing things like animation and a bunch of things you could do with it once you've grasped the basic of the Intersection Observer API. So how do we set this up? So first thing is the Intersection Observer API need a target and it can only target one element at a time. And I'm going to show you how we're going to set this up for you to target multiple courses as we have on the page, right? So now we're going to grab our courses. So everything that has the dot course selector is a course, right? So we grab them, which is going to return an array. And here we're going to set up the intersection observer. So we're going to call the, we're going to create a new object of it. And it's going to return entries, which are the entries we're observing. All right, which are going to be our courses, right? So here we're going to do a for each on each entry and we're going to call a toggle. The, the, we are going to call the toggle method on every entry. And we're going to check, okay, do we have the show class? If not, we're going to add it. If it if it does have it, we're going to remove it. So how we're doing that is using this entry that is intersecting. So what this means that is this element in the viewport as of this time that we've scrolled. If it's a yes, then add the show class to it. All right. So I'm going to comment this one out first because I want to explain something on it. So here, so we can also pass options to the intersection observer constructor, which is threshold. Threshold is, um, so the threshold is from zero to one. So I'm setting that 0.5. I mean that once 
the half of the element that we are interested in is in view run the callback so this callback so is going to run it every time half of the element is in view just makes the uh, the the transition a little bit much more faster so by default it's set to zero okay you can set it to one if you want a hundred percent of the element in view before you show the next item and so on and so forth so now we have set this up but nothing is going to be observed yet because we have to call the dot observe method for each of the elements we want to observe so i'm going to run a for each loop on the courses elements which are, are those div which we had we have grabbed here then i'm going to call the observer and the observe method of it then pass it the element we care about all right so with this done now if we come here and we scroll get to see the first course came in second course third and so on and so forth right and you could notice that as soon as we the element is almost out of so the 0 0.5 threshold right you could see once it's half in there it's going to go out right so if that's the kind of behavior you want you could leave that so you get to have this nice little scroll up and scroll down animation but i sometimes find this jarring on website and i think most people do too so ideally you want the transition to show when the page just load and that's why this check is useful so what happens here is that we're going to check has this element entered into view yet if it has then stop observing it so that means on subsequent scroll up or scroll down we are not going to transition anything we're not going to do anything so if you watch now we do this okay and you can see when we scroll back up nothing is animating and even when we scroll down again nothing is animating so this is how to achieve that um, behavior and you could notice that we we use just 14 lines of javascript okay plus minus the white spaces but you get the idea how minimal this is so this is one use case for the intersection observer and the, the sky is the limit for this you could do a lot of interesting animation i'm going to leave a link to the mdn um, doc where you could read more on the intersection observer so i hope this answer your question victor and to everybody out there that is interested in this kind of um, basic javascript animation without any framework or library. I hope this also answered your questions.